Hey, Rock here. You would not believe where I am right now. Um, actually, let me show you. Remember Harry Potter, where he uh, lived under the stairs? These are stairs, and I am under them. And it's also a restroom. <laughs> it has this extended part. I guess the dogs used to hang out here or something. Um, it's clean. I'm not like, I'm on a rug, and it's got beautiful hardwood polished floors and stuff. They just have this extended part of the bathroom in this um, New Orleans Creole cottage that we're staying in. And the reason I'm here under the stairs is because I'm a big Harry Potter nerd. No, that's not the reason, but I am a big Harry Potter nerd. Um, go Gryffindor. Um, okay, if you haven't uh, <laughs> turned off this video by now, honestly, I'm, I'm down here because it's the one place in this entire house, in this pretty big house, but there are so many of us hanging out tonight, just, you know, chatting and, and um, being goofy because we're all tired and loopy. This is the only place I could I could record it. So um, I'm hoping that nobody bursts in and needs to use the bathroom. Otherwise, I'm just going to kick them out. Sorry. There's two other bathrooms they can go to. And um, if you hear dishes clanking around, it's because <laughs> the kitchen's right over there. Beside all that, um, I came here because I wanted to talk serious for a second. Uh, and if you just watched our other um, day 10, welcome to day 10, uh, video, you'll know that we're, we're not very serious out there right now. Everybody's tired and loopy, loopy and goofy and sunburned. We all sunburned. That's what we get for you know, trying to brave the oppressive heat of New Orleans at the end of freaking July. Whose idea was that? Anyway. Um, I wanted to talk about something I've noticed the past few days uh, while out here on the road. People said that we were crazy to try to do this, to try to go from Cali to New York in 21 days and back and meet up with all of the heroes of our nation, with all of the people doing heroic things. Um, it's a whirlwind trip. Yeah, it is kind of crazy, but you know what's crazier to me? I'll tell you, um, the attitude that I see out there in lots of America. I was taught to give back when you can. I was taught to be grateful because the more you gave back, the more you got. And the more grateful you were, the more there was to be grateful for. Um, I was taught to do something good because it feels good for you. So... Yeah, it's kind of self-serving because it makes me feel good. But I know that it's the right thing to do, and that's why it makes me feel good. Well, why don't we all do the right thing? I'm having a hard time understanding a lot of that. We pulled into a gas station um, a couple days ago, and these four guys couldn't even push their car into the stall. It was one of those heavy cars. Um, and our guys jumped out of our van and, and ran to help them. You know, no prompting. That's because that's what they do. They 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 aid others when they, whenever they can. And they help push the car into the stall. And those guys in the car, um, they sat there for a while because they didn't have money to uh, to leave the gas station. They didn't have money to put gas in their car. And um, it was hot out there. And we paid for their gas so they could go. We had the money. It was okay. We didn't want them to sit out there in the heat. Um, and, you know, the cashiers were saying, Wow, you guys are a blessing. That's pretty awesome. And they were happy. And uh, we handed them a, a Nation of Heroes, you know, postcard. Told them, you know, well, this is what we're doing. So how could we possibly make this documentary about heroic people and the good deeds that they do um, without practicing what we preach? Uh, but then there was that one guy that was saying, that's crazy, why would you do that? And I wanted to say, it's crazy that you wouldn't want to do that. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? You don't have to do it to everyone you see. You don't have to pay for everybody's gas, but... Why wouldn't you help someone when you can help them? Because if we all did that, it would be a nation of heroes that were everywhere you looked so that if something went wrong, you'd know that you could count on somebody to help you out of the kindness of their heart. 
we went out last night walking through the quarter and um, there was this guy on a stoop. If you've ever been to New Orleans, you know, there are stoops everywhere. There are, there are little stairs just coming out of all the, the um, houses down in the quarter. And he was passed out on the stoop with um, his cell phone sitting on his lap like he had been trying to make a call. And he had a beer sitting next to him in a, in a go-cup. And we stopped. We were on our way to get um, a quick drink and just relax from, you know, 10, 11 hours of driving. But we couldn't pass him by. Everybody else was passing him by. And we had to stop. And we had to um, try to wake him up. Try to take his... Uh, you know, his description, try to get his name so we could see if somebody in the nearby bars knew him and could help him or, you know, we wanted to help him home. And when we were, we finally got his name from him. We finally got him conscious. And um, we walked to the bar that was just a few steps away and asked if anybody had, you know, a friend, if anybody knew this guy who uh, was passed out. And when we were asking around, People were saying things like, oh my God, they're stupid. They should just let the cops deal with that. They're crazy for trying. I keep hearing this crazy comment when, whenever we try to do something good. Why is it crazy? Why is it crazy? You know what's crazy to me? Is you sit there and you let someone get beat down and watch them and you fucking videotape it with your phone instead of using that phone to call the police. That's crazy. A bunch of strangers trying to help other strangers is not crazy. And it makes me sad that we have to do this to draw attention to just how crazy the world is. So you don't have to be like us. You don't have to take a whole crew across America and meet people who are changing their communities out of the goodness and kindness of their heart, out of the hard work, you know, in their free time. You don't have to do that. We're not asking everyone to do that. That's not what this is about. It's not for everyone either. You don't have to go do homeless handouts. You don't have to pick up 3,000 needles in San Francisco like we did. But what you can do is the next time you see your fellow man in need, the next time you know you can do something, do it. Do it. Just help them out. That kindness is going to go forward and, and they'll help somebody else out. And it'll come back to you, I promise. I've seen it. So the next time you think it's crazy to help a stranger, just ask yourself how crazy would it be to have everybody pass you by the next time you need help. So, sorry for the, sorry for the heavy emotional message tonight, but I can see that we really, really do need to do this. And I can see that there are a lot of minds that we need to change. And um, if you're supporting us already, thanks so much. Because you're crazy like us. That's a good kind of crazy. So... If you can share this, maybe you can change somebody else's mind too. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you.